Hello, my beautiful Capricorn dragons. Welcome to your little love reading for right now. So I'm going to get some cards for you. First, we're going to start with singles. Then we're going to go to couples. And um, lately, the energies that I've been picking up from like singles, even though you're single, it might apply. But if you still have a coupling energy about you or situation, it can still pull into the couple. So I'm trying to do them quick so you guys just get a little bit of a, you know, nudge until the next time. If these don't resonate with you, check out your Venus. Ooh, check out your Venus, your North Node, that's the direction of your soul, love, and um, Moon. Yeah? Okay, Capricorn, good card for singles. Free yourself, okay? I feel like maybe you've been hanging on to a past situation, okay? Um, so you guys, which is funny, in the tarot, which you guys all know, it's like I'm sure you love this, right? That you guys are the devil, okay? So, and you aren't. Um, but it, it's, it's about sort of hanging on and not breaking patterns. Now, anybody can do that, right? And um, chances are most people have some sort of Capricorn in their chart, so it's not just you. But this is about deep healing being required, and this is what I'm seeing with this is you do need to move beyond this energy. It's just what came out for me when I was, um, yeah. It's okay, guys. It's okay. You just gotta, you feel caged in and you're this beautiful, gorgeous being and uh, <laughs> you're a unicorn. It's what's on the card. One more. Okay. And that's what it, heartbroken. Yeah. Deeply sad, right? Separation, breakup, feeling lost. Yeah. So look at this. Free yourself. Look at, I'm going to show you this unicorn. Look at that. You are a beautiful unicorn and you deserve better than this. Okay. Don't let heartbreak hold you back. Okay, so you need to release that. You know, it's okay to miss them. I think that's something that we don't realize. It's like, why do I keep missing them? And then you go off on this little tangent in your head about it. I get it. Yeah. Let's see. So we have Knight of Cups that came out. I think you thought that this was like the an opportunity for true love. And that's why it hurts so much as you really thought that it was like the thing. So, yeah, let's see. Yeah, you thought that you'd be celebrating and everything. Yeah. And it was sort of like everything that you, you had wished and hoped for. And it's actually like you're feeling hopeless that you will never have this right i this could be a very recent thing that happened okay because you're in this oh my god i'm never gonna find anything oh, like you're still you're very much reminiscing and looking back at the situation um because it seemed like it was good i have a feeling like it wasn't your doing and that's why it's so hard it's so hard to give somebody your all and have it not be acknowledged or reciprocated but maybe you need to go and free yourself from this mindset and see you know go and look at it really properly logically right this person why did what happened and were they really everything that you thought that you wanted were they really everything you wished for or were you just making exceptions so yeah <sighs> keep the faith Okay, and you need to realize that um, it sort of went against destiny. I think maybe you, you did something that wasn't, um, you knew that it wasn't right. And there might have been fear and, and anxiety. It, you need to repair from something else. You need to fix yourself from something else, Capricorn. So go back, ask yourself, what is this about? What is this about? And take yourself back. Okay, singles. Yeah, that's, oh guys, I just want to give you a hug with that one. That's brutal, brutal energy. Okay, so yeah. Let's, um, let's go into Capricorn couples. So Capricorn couples. I'm trying to get a new energy in because that's a heavy energy. <laughs> huh? 
Okay, so this is not for everybody. If you are in a very happy relationship, go find another sign. If you're in a happy relationship, I don't really know why you're watching these. So, um, separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So, don't make it your story. Okay, guys, that's all I have to say. If you're in a happy relationship, don't bring this in, right? Like, even just, you know, watch it and try to think of another Capricorn in your life, right? So, or maybe somebody you know has Capricorn in a chart and they're going through it. But don't make this yours if it isn't, okay? Not in the business of breaking people up. So, yeah, so... What I'm hearing, though, is that the separation is, it's this back and forth. It's somebody who you would identify as a twin flame, okay? Um, it's about, and twin flames usually come in and come out, and they learn and go. So we have love call, so somebody's expressing love, and it's this, um, it's this twin flame, okay? Now, twin flames can often, um, karmic soulmates, and even just lessons, just people that, might just be people that come in and they have nothing to do with us. Um, we can sometimes identify as twin flame because we have to get over uh, codependency and um, enmeshment issues. So you have to watch um, that it actually really is somebody who truly um, is a twin flame. Okay, so because twin flame relationships and toxic relationships can have very similar characteristics. The difference, and sometimes twin flames, they've done what they need to do and then it's time to say goodbye. You're not meant to be, you know, not everybody's meant to be with their twin flame in this life. Okay, so, so just make sure that, right? So, because I see a lot of this, you know, somebody's gonna separate, then they're gonna get a call and then just, you know, you have to make sure that you're both are growing, right? So stop giving, um, and this goes both ways, stop giving them the benefit of the doubt and actions speak louder than words. And watch, okay? Like you have to set your own timelines and boundaries too. Yeah, so, oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. So um, you're... <sighs> It's almost like you're you're being guided, and you don't want to be. Um, you're you're just like no, I don't want I don't want to do this, right? I'm I'm so sick and tired of this on again, off again. Because you have the two of swords. It's like the universe is trying to say to you, you need to make a choice, right? You need to become um, affectionate and loving, and maybe you withdrawn. You need to be approachable. And the other person needs to be approachable as well. You need to feel emotionally secure. Both of you need to feel emotionally secure in this relationship. And if you don't, it's toxic. Can it be fixed? Okay, there's different levels of toxic. Toxic can become abusive or sometimes toxic is just, wow, I need to work on that, right? And, and working to heal it. So, it, the, it is moving in your favor, but I think it's all about what you're going to do with this decision. I'm not getting any forward energy from it. I feel like you need to make the choice on what's going to happen. And I feel like you need to go and embrace yourself during this time of separation. You need to go and you need to do healing on yourself and make yourself stronger and set proper boundaries and make sure that they're doing that as well. Okay, Capricorn, I almost called you guys unicorn, Capricorn couples. Okay, so I will see you in your next reading. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.